Hi, my name is uh, Louis Desjardins. I'm the uh, CEO and designer of uh, Kronos Audio Products. We're uh, basically an analog front-end company. Uh, we offer uh, the turntable, but also the complete analog solution from the turntable, the tone arm, uh, the phono stage, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So this, this is our, our business, this is what we do. Well, I've been an audiophile since my uh, very young age of, uh, let's say, uh, 13 or 14 years old. And uh, I've studied uh, physics at the university, physics of waves. And uh, I've always, uh, as I said before, been an audiophile, I love music, I come from a, a musical uh, uh, family. And um, as I was experimenting with turntables, I came up with the idea of uh, counter-rotation of uh, platters to eliminate torque force and use vibrations. And uh, from there, I built a prototype and uh, from the success of the prototype, I decided to offer this uh, product to the public. It was not a, uh, an idea that I had to enter the audio industry. It was more sort of an accidental entry into the market because uh, counter-rotation was an important discovery. Well, the Kronos, uh, we have a patent on a suspended turntable with counter-rotation technology. Now, uh, suspended turntables have, uh, have the advantage of isolating the turntable from the sound of speakers and the sound of the motors. But uh, there's an a after-effect of the suspension, which is the torque force induced vibration. Uh, when the turn platter rotates, the sub-chassis wants to rotate with it, and then it, is, it enters the two forces, the suspension force and the, the torque force meet each other and there's a vibration that ensues because these forces are not exactly stable uh, throughout time. And um, so Kronos is different because it uses a secondary platter of the same mass rotating in opposite direction at the same speed to eliminate the torque force. We're the only turntable to have this and um, because this, this effect, the torque force and those vibration is an important effect, Kronos has a sound that is distinctly different than that of either turntable. We believe it's the sound that most closely uh, matches the sound of an open reel master tape. Well, of course, the Pro is the flagship model. So if somebody wants to have the utmost uh, fidelity in reproduction, the, the field of closest to the music, Pro is, is, is the most advanced turntable available in the market today. Now, Sparta is also very attractive because it presents our technology at a lower budget price that make, makes it more, uh, that makes it available to a wider range of of people. Uh, our sales though show that uh, Pro has the same amount or slightly more sales than Sparta which means that people in this marketplace are looking for the utmost quality.
Well, vibration control is very, very important, of course. Uh, a turntable is a device that reads a vibration in a groove, and this vibration is the music. And that, that vibration, read by the stylus, is transferred into electrical signals and, and, and sent to the speakers. So any kind of parasitic vibration will affect the playback. For a turntable company, uh, the best sound is the sound that matches the closest, the sound of the original master tape on the original mastering machine. So uh, if, if it's, it's easier than, say, than in designing speakers, because in speakers, how do you compare one speaker to another speaker? Which one is right, which one is wrong? Uh, in the case of uh, turntables, it's, it's much simpler because uh, you can do an A and B comparison between, let's say, a test pressing and an original master on the original mastering machine. And you can see if you're getting closer or further away from the actual uh, best sound. Now, I, I believe that the future of two-channel audio is going, is going through the, the resurgence of vinyl. I think that a lot of people got involved as audiophiles when they were younger because they bought vinyl, a vinyl record collection that they've kept through all their lives. And that's kept them with the uh, audio uh, hobby. I believe that when you have files on a server, you're not as attached to that file library as you might be to an actual physical library. So I think that uh, young people today, uh, younger audiophiles today that are uh, purchasing vinyl will more likely be the ones to continue in the audio hobby in the long term to improve their system and have their system evolve with their LP library. I'm not sure that happens with files. Well, I would say that uh, the, 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 the most important part uh, to me is to discover the wealth of uh, music uh, culture, recorded music uh, culture. There's been uh, fantastic recordings done over the past uh, 50, 60 years. There's a wealth of library. And uh, I think that rather than listening to, let's say, cables or speakers, the best thing is to really listen to music and get into it more and more. So it may not matter the size of your system. It may not matter how complex it is. Uh, I think what matters more is how much music enjoyment you get out of it and that you have music as part of your life.